This is a, a very interesting kind of opinion piece or commentary from these Oregon Health and Science uh, uh, ho uh, Hospital uh, investigators who kind of challenge the idea about whether or not uh, randomization is required. And here specifically, they're talking about sulfur catnip in ret rearranged non-small cell lung cancer, not medullary thyroid cancer. But they, they put the devil ad advocate uh, uh, perspective about, well, what size of benefit do we see in single arm trials is going to be enough to say randomization is really not required. And, you know, they put it to the extreme of what they termed parachute size benefit. Is the benefit that you see in a single arm trial really um, uh, uh, to the degree that it's comparable to the benefit that you have of giving someone who's jumping out of an airplane to prevent death with a parachute, with which, which they put close to 100%. Um, and so they point out specifically in the data for sulfur catnip and re rearranged non small cell lung cancers that uh, older retrospective data that was published by Alex Drill and a colleague of mine at Memorial that you know even chemotherapy with chemotrex that seemed to have pretty good rates of response and median progression free survival in that comparison. And so in in this commentary, they're arguing that even though it's a rare disease population and given the promise of the data, they would support random uh, randomized comparison. 